Okay, I think we are about ready to go. Alright. <clears throat> yeah, I, I, I think we're all good. Lighting's alright. Volume's all good. Everything's all set. Okay, so last time... Last time... Why is my controller not... Oh, yeah, I think it's not working. There we go. So last time, we made it to the Dark World. However, uh, we need to save Zelda first. And to save Zelda first, we had to go to every other dungeon. Actually, I think I want to go to Mountain Cave. We had to go to every other dungeon and grab every item we can get from the, from the dungeons. Just so we can get to Turtle Rock. We got the items, and then we leave. Uh, the missable, uh, the items we are missing. Well, let's see, I think that's the bug net in between here. Down, I think, the, in between these two are the bottles, which we have to not have any for Ganon. And then there's an optional one right in the corner that I don't remember how to get right now. But, wait, I don't want Ganon of Somalia. All right, <clears throat> so we are off to Turtle Rock to save Zelda and make sure we do that first. Okay. So we need to go all the way up and around to the top. And then we need to basically go to the dark world. Come on, get out of here. Alright, I need to do the archery minigame and the digging minigame. But for right now, let's just take care of this get it done. First, to the dark world. Tight. All right. Yeah, so we needed to go and get the hammer to continue. So you need to go into the first dungeon just to make it over here. I think I explored a little bit around here. I want to get some health back. Then you need to go all the way over here. You need the Titan's Mitt to lift this up. Uh, come, come on. So you need Titan's Mitt from... Oh, which dungeon had the Titan's Mitt? It was... It wasn't Skull Woods, that was Fire Rod. It was... It was the Thief's uh, Dungeon, I believe. Thief's Den. Oh no, I did it wrong. Gotta reset the room. I for always forget the order. I always forget that there is an order that I have to hit. I see. Almost got it. Third time's the charm. <laughs> Bop. Beep. Alright. Now we're at Turtle Rock. And then the last thing you need to get... Wake Medallion. Which means you need the magic for it. And 
There we go. We can now enter Turtle Rock. All of that was needed. Okay, I need... Oh. There's also one other thing we could do, I think. Yeah. I don't think I knew that was even a thing we can do. I know there's more stuff we could explore around Turtle Rock. Is it worth doing it right now? some treasure around here. Some rupees, which I don't need. Well, I will need, but I don't need as much. Here. That. More rupees! Okay, my, I'm going the wrong way. I need to go here. Got the rupees. this. All of that was for rupees. Very nice, clearly. If I want to head back, I need to go here. Or, you know, fall off the edge, that works too. Is there... Oh, I see. A hidden path. Uh, there is a way to find the hidden path. If I'm correct, we use the quake hammer? Or the quake medallion? No? There was a way to see hidden paths. Is it ether? There it is. There we go. Up here, more bombs need to be placed. Let's try the left path. Set that there. What's in here? Perfect. Grab the heart piece. Go back to the dark world. That's what I was trying to get. Ooh, fairies. Might as well get my health back. And up here. A full heal. Okay, that's an interesting decision. I guess the fairies can be put in, into bottles, so that's that's an idea. All right, now that we got that heart piece, now we can go into Turtle Rock. We can explore the rest of this section later. Oh, good, it's still open. Part of me was worried. Time to explore Turtle Rock. Scott, do you possess the medicine of magic? If not, I recommend go against going any further. Basically, have bottles to uh, refill magic, which we'll see. We, we should be able to beat this without any bottles. Try going this way. And just to refill. Just save the other skull. Either of these. Nope. Okay, I need the fire rod. Ah, uh, because it's off screen. Yeah, that's a waste. 
That's a waste of my fire rod. Okay. Well, I made it work, but I wasted a lot of the... Uh, I'm, I wasted a lot of the fire rod in my magic. Okay, what do we got? We got the map. We got a key. With some magic refill, which you need to get back. Somalia, which we got the cane of Somalia in one of the dungeons as well, I believe. So you need to go to a different dungeon to get the cane of Somalia. Hmm. Oh no. However, will I manage? I already got the achievement anyway. Gotta sit here and just let it play out. Let's see. Just kind of glancing through while that's going on. Well, that's done. Wow, what a waste. I'll pull one of these. This was pointless, right? Yeah, this was completely pointless and a waste of time. I do not have this game memorized at all. I guess if you needed more magic. Hey, I have a key. I can make it in here. Oh, but I need another key. He had it. That works. Right. So we can go up here. And I can't do anything. Yeah, I can't do anything. Can he come back? Yeah, the chain chomps are after me. Yeah, okay. I kind of put myself in the corner. It's fine. I think there's a way to get rid of the chain chomps, but, like, it has to do with the block, but the chain, too. Right. Let's go left, then. Go down here. This is like the only other spot I didn't go to. Oh, it's the compass. You can tell me where the boss is. Right. Charge up a spin attack so you're facing the other way. Alright. I'm missing a key somewhere. I'm guessing either one of the e one of these enemies or one of these skulls has it. Key? Well, there's one spot I can think of where I didn't get a key or I didn't check for a key. Because I'm thinking, oh, it's probably just a heart or something. That's arrows. Great. I'm already lost. How fun. Okay, what, what 
Let me think. If I went back over to the right, up at the very top was... the map and a key, which I checked. I think it has to do with this room. I think it has to do with this room. Which, gotta sit through this again. Isn't this fun? I'm gonna take a look at the... at uh, Total Rock, open every chest. The boss may be tricky. Yeah, considering that we're gonna need full magic and since we don't have bottles, it's gonna be probably a tough ride. But, yeah. Right now, like, all the missables are, uh, like, basically beat the boss like this. There has to be something. This is Zelda 1. Yeah, okay. Um. Whatever. Whatever game. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna check this very quick. Yeah, there we got it. Alright, I'm checking back in here. I am missing something, and I don't know what. Chain shop room. It has to do with these blocks, doesn't it? Yeah, I don't push. Wait. Okay, hold on. There we go. There's a key. got the key. That's all that matters. That is all that matters. We got the key. Why'd I do that? Why, why would I do such a thing? I know there was a way to deal with the chain chops. There was something we could do about them. But I forget what. Ooh. We could turn, turn you into a fairy, get some of my health back. This place is, requires a lot of magic. Turning them into fairies is the only way to get rid of them. Okay, there we go. And that clears out this room, right? Yeah, more or less. Make sure to get my magic back. Arrows. Plenty of arrows. Alright. 
go into one of these tubes. shall take the closest path. Here, oh no, a bunch of skulls to turn into fairies. Oh no, oh no, oh no, I'm a bunny. No, I don't want to be bunny. Also, I need a key. I go the wrong way. Well, that makes a difference. Okay, I could just turn both of you into fairies. There you go, there's the key. chest. Big key. Already got it. Sweet. What do we got in here? Back here. Go through this tube. And it's just a way back. Which means we need to take the other path this time. farther away. Come on. Get them all. Standing here, I am perfectly safe from the fireball. Oh no, but if they just happen to run into me... No, get back. No, I don't want to turn into bunny. I'm bunny. Okay, time to run around. I need some health. There, I'm maxed on rupees again. What's down here? Okay, we'll take the left path. Oh, that's not a good sign. Oh, right, it's when you face them, that's when they... No, it's not that. Okay, the ones that are... The eyes that are already open, they'll just attack anyway. Eyes are already open or are just gonna attack you anyway. The ones that are closed will only attack when you face it. It's a good thing I took the left path. And we get the mirror shield. Now we can reflect the beams that attack us. The uh, ones from the eye lasers. And again, normally I'd have a stronger sword for this. <laughs> because I would save Turtle Rock for last. But no. I don't. Let's blow these up. This back. What? What's the map look like? All right, let's head up. That's probably. Oh, you cheat! No, oh, that was a cheap shot. Probably the way down. 
So let's go to the right. Bombs? I don't need... What? What's gonna happen? This feels too safe. Again, this feels too safe. Roll tongue. We got the right one. Ooh. Uh, I don't need any of this. I don't need rupees. I'm maxed on rupees. Well, we went into the room. Down the stairs we go. I knew it. I knew it was going to happen. Well, we're at the other entrance. So now we get to stay farther up. That helps. We're way farther along the dungeon than we would be. So that's, a little, that's nice. us right to where we need to way sooner. Didn't mean to jump off the edge like that. Let's see. Down this way? That was needed. Oh, what? Yeah, I'm just getting hit. Where do I go? That's not what I'm looking for. Down. I'm, oh, made it, made it. Good. Is that the way I needed to go? Yes. <laughs> I should have caught myself. Of course I didn't. But hey, I knocked the enemy down. That's all that matters. I need to go this way and grab the key. Okay. I thought... No, that doesn't matter. I should have just walked towards it. No, I'm dumb. I was overthinking. Great, I'm gonna have to flip that switch again, aren't I? Yeah. And I don't remember how to get there. Hey, Monzai, how's it going? Just going through Turtle Rock. You know, without saving any of the other maidens. What's been going on? far more exhausted than you thought. Well, how far did you get in in your stream? Because I got pulled away. So I, I didn't get to see where you, uh, how far you gotten. This way. Flip the switch. Yep. This path up and over there. Yeah. You were falling asleep when you started sleeping. The next thing you knew was fall at 5 a.m. Ouch. One of, the, one of those days, huh? 
fin uh, you finished the prelim. So you're starting the the tournament. Again. I see. I see. We got rupees. And I got shot in the back. There's not a way to keep my shield up, is there? And face the other way. Yeah, there's no way to strafe. Gotta do that all over again. Oh yeah, and if I'm correct, you haven't done the... You haven't connected to the other version to transfer navies, correct? You're not doing that. At least for the tournament stuff, correct? Right. If I remember correctly, you said you were only going to do that just to get the secret chips. You want to get all souls for that. Okay. Jeez, I'm just getting pelted by these fireballs and I keep... Mm. Yeah. And you said you're playing the other version anyway, right? So that's where you're just going to show the story ones? I get that. Okay, how do I... Oh, I get hit anyway. There's that. Oh, and I fell. Meh, time to head back. Wait, no, you're on turbo, aren't you? Uh, uh, if you did a free tournament, now with nappies, you have a thought. Show them off too soon. I guess, so, if you're talking about, like, some of the later, uh, if you're playing Red Sun, of the later Red Sun nappies, I can understand that. But if you transfer the, the Blue Moon nappies over, then what you're doing is you, you're giving yourself a chance to fight them in the in the main story so i'm i'm saying transfer them over transfer them over and then uh and then just don't do the free tournament and just fight them during the main story but if you're playing the other version anyway then that might not matter yeah so Ultimately, that doesn't really matter. It's just only if you really want to get... Uh, be able to fight every Navi on a single save file. So you can do that. transfer over the Red Sun navies in the third playthrough. Uh, okay. Again, if you wanted to try to get all navies in a single cartridge, basically, it's, pro it's best to start doing that on the second run. But yeah, do what you want. Uh, when I, my, uh, criteria for 100%ing was different. We got all the chests. Right, 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 right. Yeah, my criteria for 100 percent in my run is different from yours since you're playing both versions. Did you handle, uh, did you play both versions when you played three? Is that just what you're doing? Do I? What's the point of this? Hold on. No, I got the key. It's just a it's just a faster way to get to the boss. Man, I wish I did that first. You played white on your own time, I see. 
Not a different campaign. Okay. Not much different in white version to justify another playthrough. Stupid. Kit. There we go. Now I gotta turn you into a fairy. That helps. Turn you into a fairy too. I need I need magic. That is a for sure thing. I need magic. Almost to the boss. And for like one of the challenges for fighting the boss. Uh we're gonna need a like full MP bar. And even then I don't even know it will be fully possible to defeat for one of the challenges. But yeah, I'm gonna need a full MP bar. HP's nice. MP? Ugh. Yeah, white. Yeah, white only has one extra fight, and you can fight the guy. <laughs> In when you're going for Omega Navi, so it really isn't much of a difference. Alright. We are here at the boss. The challenge I need to do I need to destroy the fire head with the ice rod, destroy the ice head with the fire rod, then use the hammer to defeat. The snake, or the middle head. In that, it has to be in that order. For an achievement. It has to be in that order. Let's do this. I don't know why it needs to be in that order. Ah. Okay, I just wasted, like, all my magic. Yeah, how are you supposed to do this? Well, I got- I gotta wait. I gotta wait to... die. Okay. How are you supposed to do this on a single magic bar? Specifically use the order. I'm reading you need at least one magic bottle with magic recharge potion for this. If you're doing this with a bottleless run. So, if you're doing this with a bottleless run, you basically fail. You need to get a bottle just to get this stupid achievement. Then reset. Uh, sometimes I'm reading you need more than one bottle. Hitting it with the rod makes it more susceptible to further attacks. So, if you keep attacking quickly with the rod, it dies fast. And uses magic meter more efficiently. It doesn't hurt to have more potions. Hold on. Uh, fire is way too durable with only... Three magic shot left, and I destroyed the plane. But those. I'm reading you need to bring three bottles. Con. Uh, here, I'm just gonna put the, like the comments on. <laughs> Basically, what I'm reading. Uh, magic cave to help with the chamber chomps, the fire bars, so blah, blah, blah. Uh, there's refills th throughout and anti fires for healing. You need a bottle for this achievement, even with the half magic upgrade. Oh my god. For those doing a bottleless run, save, get some bottles, get potions, get it reset. Yep, okay. Uh, I had a feeling. Okay. I just saved, right? I'm pretty sure I just saved. I will do it again as a just in case. Save continue. Wait. No, save quit. Because I want to start back at 
the main house. Great, there's gonna be a lot of resets, aren't there? Okay. Oh, we're in the dark world, we have to start here. Um, this is weird. Also, there's an achievement tied to one of these statues. I don't know. Can you charge into it? I don't know. I'll figure it out later. Okay. I need to move to the light world. I'm going to need multiple bottles. Basically, I need bottles for this achievement, and once I get it, then I need to leave. But wait. How are you supposed to do this, like... Oh. In a normal run, you hit it with the ice rod or fire rod, and then just use your sword. So that's how we would get around it in a normal run. Okay. So let's go grab a couple bottles. I think we can get all three at the moment. Without any issues. I just gotta be careful not to save. We got one bottle. We go down in here. No. Go down in here. Yeah, this is weird. This is a weird order we have to do things. This is one thing I don't like about sets like this. If you're trying to do everything in one run, it basically requires you to beat the game, you beat the dungeon, and reset just so you can do it slightly differently. Ugh, kind of annoying. Okay, we got two bottles. I want to go get my third, which we need to go underneath the bridge. Again, I think my last tunic upgrade is in Ganon's tower, so we got we're the best we can be right now. Again, I can't do anything about the sword for a little bit. It'd be nice, but I don't need the sword upgrade for the boss. Always up. Yeah. Off to Lake Hylia. Why didn't I warp? I forgot I could do that. This is a weird way to get to Lake Hylia, but we made it. Alright. Time to go up the river. This way. But yeah, uh, Monzai, assuming you're still in here, uh, with. Are you gonna plan to do both versions of Battle Network 5 and 6 as well? Kind of like what you're doing with 4? I feel like with 6, there's enough difference between the two, but are you gonna do that with 5? You need to go under here. Yo, Scott, you seem to be in a heap of trouble, but this is all I can give you. Third bottle. Alright. Well, we got some bottles. Oh no, I can't do that here. Not under the bridge. Okay, now I want to go to here very quick. I do need to refill on magic, but I, I can do that at Turtle Rock. I want to go up and around. <laughs> Alright, with these jelly things, I think you want to use your magic on them. And they turn into something. Forget what, though. in 
a bottle. I didn't know you could do this. Did you drop this? Yes. You're an honest person. Let me give you something better in return. We get a bottle of medicine of magic. To get such a uh, to get such a potion free is quite a bargain. I didn't know you could do this. I didn't know you could just do that. Th that's new to me. That is actually new to me. Uh, actually, okay. You know, you know what? We're gonna fill one bottle with a green potion. Assuming I still can. Yes. Alright. You can just do that. Two bottles with green. And I think we'll get one blue potion. The blue potion should, like, completely heal me. As well as the magic. This is all prep work for the stupid boss. All to undo it later. Ugh. Oh, yeah, I need that. Okay. Can I kill you from up here? Not really. Oh. I'm gonna have to go around just so I don't get hit. Get away. Get out of my sight. There's a fan, but there are a few games you're not familiar with. Is this one of the ones you're not familiar with? I don't play Link to the Past enough to know everything, so this whole, like, throwing a bottle in the fairy fountain is actually new. Zelda 2, this one, Twilight Princess, mainly. I... I played a decent amount of uh, Zelda 2. Uh, Twilight Princess... Uh... I... I'm actually playing through it on my own time. Uh, but Twilight Princess... I feel like the game goes on just a little too long. I think by the time you get to the Temple in the Sky... Uh, I'm just like, okay, it's going on a little bit too long. And it doesn't help that the Sky Temple is not that fun to play through. <laughs> but what's really annoying about Twilight Princess is, like, there's the po Posils, if you want to try to collect everything. And there's no way to, like, hunt them... One, there's no easy way to hunt them down or track them. So if you're missing one, good luck. Check everywhere in the game. Pull up a guide, you know? And two, they can only show up at night. So if you're during the day, there isn't... Twilight Princess doesn't have a way to just swap it to nighttime. There's no sun, uh, sun song. You know, kind of like an Ocarina of Time. So that just becomes a hassle. A hassle. But Twilight Princess had a lot of problems. I, I, I really don't like how they made Ganon just the secret bad guy again. Be like, but we have Zant. Why do you have to bring Ganon into this? He has no reason to be here. through the dungeon like normal. But once we get to that third uh, checkpoint, we can easily just die there if I need to. But yeah, I, I don't play this game enough to know every little secret, so some things are just actually new. 
But yeah, people will always say, oh, Link to the Past is, like, really open world. And it's like, yeah, it is, but to make it open world, you need to just go into a dungeon, get an item, and then leave. Like, in general, why would you bother doing that? Like, at that point, it's like you're wasting more time by not finishing the dungeon. As far as I can tell. Unless you're, like, found a glitch that lets you jump straight to, like, Ganon or something. But you need items in some other dungeons to make it work out better. Is there something I can do about... Nope, that doesn't work. Okay. Use the cape. My birth of the wild for what it was, I would... You like Skyward Sword more? Interesting. Uh... When it comes to, like, the 3D Zeldas, because I have way more experience with those, uh... I'd say... I like Breath of the Wild and Tears of the Kingdom about the same, more or less. I don't know where I would put them on the totem pole. Uh... But, like, Twilight Princess is probably my least favorite, other than maybe Skyward Sword. I only played... Here's the thing with Skyward Sword for me. Uh, I played it the one time at launch when it came out. I still have it. Uh, but, like, after I beat it, I haven't touched it again. It's one of those games that I want to play again. I just haven't gotten around to it. But I never had an issue. I never had an issue with like the motion controls. So that was that was never a problem for me. Yeah, I I I need to play Skyward Sword again just to figure out if I like it more than Twilight Prince. Oh, like Spirit Tracks, barely really remember it. I don't own Spirit Track. Do not save and continue. Gotta, gotta remember that. Do not save and continue. Because I do not want to save these bottles. And that's how I'm going to mess this all up, is by misclicking. Yeah, uh, I borrowed Spirit Tracks from a friend around the time it came out, and I played through it. I remember liking it, but I couldn't tell you too much about it. I do have, uh, I do have Phantom Hourglass, though. I played that game a decent amount of times. Uh, yeah, going through the Temple of the Ocean King so many times is annoying at least every time you go back through it it there's like a new shortcut you can make it easier now but that still doesn't fix it funnily enough phantom hourglass was the first zelda game i personally owned i usually i rented or borrowed like the other games i tried out before that. Okay, there's a god. Yes. There we go. Now we made it. Checkpoint one is cleared, basically. Here. This way. And again, all of this just to try to make it there again with bottles. Here. This. This path. All the way through. 
whatever. And again, if I beat the boss with the bottles, I have to go back through and beat it again. That's the dumb part about all this. That's nice. No, I went the wrong way. <laughs> I'm just getting pelted by fireballs for it. But yeah, I've played most Zelda games by now. There's only a few that I haven't, like, played or just played all the way through. Like, I've dabbled. Like, Link's Awakening, I've played a little bit. I haven't finished it all the way through. Uh, what else? Why do I keep doing that? Why do I keep doing that? I want to go down this way. That way I create the initial checkpoint. But yeah, Link's Awakening is one I haven't played all the way through, let alone the remake. I haven't played the remake. Uh, obviously, the new Zelda is coming out. I don't know when I will be able to play that. And... What else is there? I know that... Uh, Minish Cap I still haven't beaten. That's another one. I believe that's it. I think I played all the other ones, unless we don't, uh, we don't count CDI. We never count CDI. Okay, get out of here. Again, I need to make sure to have full magic meter. Full hearts would be nice. But yeah, I need to give Skyward Sword another shot. I just wasn't really that interested in the HD version because honestly, the motion controls of the Wii Remote made it work. I need it. Like it actually worked well. But trying to do all those motions with the uh, with the Joy Cons, it's not that accurate. I just don't see it to be as good. All right, tip number two. I use my full magic meter just to do that. I don't care about getting hit. Right now, just take out. Okay, that's done. Now I need to use the hammer. Okay, hold on. I am using my healing. I don't care. I just want this. I just want this. Okay. I have like no range. There we go. I don't care about the speed run part. The achievement's not gonna proc until here. Right? 
that. Still see the little symbol. You don't see it. There we go. We got it. Okay, that's a reset. <laughs> and we also freed the maiden from Turtle Rock. I'm resetting. So we freed the maiden from Turtle Rock. And we beat the boss with its stupid requirements. But as you can see, no bottles. So now I need to beat him again. But how come the achievement didn't proc for Zelda? Or did I just not move the text enough forward? I, could, I guess I could have grabbed that one too, but at this point I'm gonna do it anyway. Oh no, it looks like it did proc. Hold on, let me double check. Yeah, it did proc, it did proc. So if I wanted to, we don't have to do Turtle Rock, because I technically grabbed Zelda first, but the entire point of it was to see special dialogue. And at this point, I'm committed. I am committed, and I just need to now beat it without getting hit. Easier said than done, right? <laughs> Alright. Supposedly... Supposedly one of these statues has like rupees in it. I just never I just don't know what I'm doing. I thought like you either run into it or you pull, but I don't know. No. Let's get rid of you first. But yeah, I was in the mood to play, like, one of the GameCube Zelda's. Since GameCube also has achievements now. I wanted Wind Waker. Oh, there we go. If you wanted some ruby, rupees, you know, just pull this statue. I never knew that was an option. Wind Waker, but I... Apparently, they tied the achievements to the European version. So... I didn't want to go find a European copy of the ROM, you know? You know what I mean? Well, you know, I had Twilight Princess. I didn't need the European copy for, for achievements, so... Don't worry about that. I'm all the way at Zant. And, uh, there were two achievements for Zance. Uh, basically just one where it's like, hey, uh, don't get hit, right? You know, uh, like, every one of the bosses has, like, a don't get hit one and, like, a special requirement one. Where it's like, oh, beat the boss, but only with this item, or only shoot five arrows sort of thing. Uh... But, like, this, the other Zant one I had to do was in the final phase of the Zant fight. Beat him with only the Mortal Draw ability and have the Iron Boots equipped. Why? I don't know. But I did it. But, so now I need to do the other one where it's Don't Get Hit by Zant. And the stupid part about doing this one is the fact that uh, oops. the fact is that there's like six phases for the Zant fight, and if you complete any one of them, that is now a checkpoint. So if you die, you just restart on that phase. But for the no, uh, don't get hit, it requires you to never get hit in any of the six phases. So, if it means you make it, for example, make it all the way to the final phase, and you get hit, well, that's a reset, buddy. 
You can't just die and reset. No, no, no. You have to reset the entire fight. Meaning, because you have to reset the game, you now need to... Uh, because you reset the entire game, you now need to basically go through the dungeon again. Or at least the final part of it. Palace of Twilight has like three sections. So you need to go through that final section of the Palace of Twilight. Just so you can make it to Zant again. Just to give it another go. That's a fun, that's a smart decision, right? Sure, my magic is always off. Alright. At least when fighting the boss this time, because I'm not spamming my magic, I should be able to beat him. Should. If I fail, die and reset. It's not gonna hurt anything. Checkpoint. That's the one saving grace about this. Go up here. Need that. But yeah, supposedly there's exclusive dialogue. And that's what we're going to get. I need to see that because at this point, we might as well. Even though I technically got the achievement for saving Zelda first. I reset too soon. At this point, we're committed. Or I am, anyway. Here. Down. Flip the switch. Oh yeah, looking through the Twilight Princess achievements, there is one annoying thing about it, and that's, uh... Well, okay, the final set of the achievements basically, in, it's basically telling you, hey, you need to do two runs. Because, like, the final set of achievements, like, the final, I don't know, eight, is all basically just three heart runs achievements, so it's like, oh, I have to do two runs basically but uh, not counting those because that's not really hard it's just kind of annoying that I now need to do another run uh, looking at the Ganondorf uh, the taking down Ganondorf achievements I think you I think it's impossible to uh, get there's like two Ganondorf achievements for the final boss and I think it's impossible to get him both. Like, you have to be Ganondorf, then reset to get the other one. I think it's, like, impossible to get both at the same time. But in that case, we're just talking about the final fight. Because I, I think one of them is, like... Don't get hit, and usually on the don't get hits, it tells you you're not allowed to use your the mag the magic armor because that takes rupees. Makes sense, right? But then I think the other achievement requires you to beat him with the magic armor but have zero rupees. So it basically requires you to do that fight twice. doesn't matter. All that matters is we don't get hit. That's what really matters. Let's go. Nope. 
Oh, and I got hit. There it is. All right, time to die. Well, at least it's very quick. Unlike Twilight Princess. Yeah, we can save and continue. Yeah, this one. This game, whenever there's a don't get hit by the boss, it specifically tells you you're not allowed to use uh, the cave uh, to do it. So they have those restrictions because you can easily just cheese a lot of this by using the cape. But no, they, they, do, they make sure you're not allowed to do that. As long as I can get my magic back. That's all that matters. See, this ain't that bad to get back. Could be a lot worse. At least I don't have to go through that uh, dark room again. Well, I got hit again. At least I could just keep running into him. Is there a... There doesn't seem to be any sort of startup. Or when he's about to attack. That seems to be the anno most annoying part about the fight. Nope, nope, nope. I'm not getting hit by you. There we go. Made it. Attempt number... Well, I guess... Five? Four? I don't know. How do you count this? Three? I don't know how you want to count this. We're trying again. If only I could have the upgraded sword. Let's go. One, two, three. I am one, two, three. Nope. At this point, I am waiting. Oh yeah, it's the tail. It's the tail. That's right. Oh damn! I even saw the tail. Okay, time to die. Again, at least it's quick. At least it's quick. Alright, I need magic powder. Like, this doesn't seem too bad. Granted, I haven't even gotten past... I have even beaten the first one here. It's going, it's going fine, Hot Corn Dog. Um, we technically got some achievements, but it's weird. <laughs> so, we're at the boss of Turtle Rock, Hot Corn Dog, right? And there are two achievements tied to the boss. One where it requires you to not get hit, and one that requires you to basically beat it with only three weapon types. The Ice Rod, the Fire Rod, and the Hammer in a specific order. Well, two of those require magic. And I was reading that the only way to really do that achievement is to use bottles. Which means... Which means what I had to do was... 
basically save and quit, go get three bottles, fill them up so I can get magic back, go back all the way here, beat the boss, get the achievements, and then restart <laughs> so we can do it without getting hit. Let's go! How's it going on your end, Hawk? Huh? No. One, two, three. At this point, I think we're gonna wait for the turtle. One, two, and I got hit. I thought there was like a range of where the turtle's head can attack. If I made you, is it truly only for the dead kid? Exactly. Exactly. And again, all this because I read ahead about the Ganon one, where it's like, oh, don't use bottles. Don't have any bottles on you, actually. Not, it's not good enough to just not have anything in the bottles. No, 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 no. You, you can't have the bottles at all, period. Because that, that would change a lot of this. If I was allowed to have the bottles, just not... Uh, use them against Ganon. That, that, that would change a lot of this out. But yeah, I got the I got the achievement, which allowed me to get like two others. Then I reset. Okay, what's going on on your end? Let's go. Again, I gotta be careful though because I only have so much magic. I do have to be careful. One, two, three. One, two, three. At this point. Attack. Good. One, two, three. One, two, three. Okay, got it. Can I use like half of my magic? Played some Fortnite, squad so being frustrated. You know, always. I see. One. Oh no, I got hit. Stupid ice. I wonder if I should get rid of the ice one first. Because the fire pillars will go away after a while. The ice seems to stick around. I wonder if it would be better to get rid of the ice one first. Come on, get, get back here. Uh, okay, I have full health. Solos, you only got yourself to blame, but with Scrubs, you're fighting teams of four. If you're unlucky, each teammate does their own thing, which, yeah. One person screws up, it affects the entire, the entire group. So you could be doing everything right, but then you got one team member that's not paying attention or not listening. You're just doing their own thing. Okay, let's go after the ice one first. I know I'm able to attack the fire one sooner, but... Ah, oh, that's on me. I walked into him. Dang it. Yeah, I want the ice tiles out of there, so we're going after that one. Uh, oh yeah, speaking of like, I know you mentioned Fortnite, but you talk about uh, Overwatch a little bit. You, did you hear about the Concord game? Came out like two weeks ago. Like that was another thing that was going on, kind of like with the Dustborn. Uh, situation, right? It's basically Overwatch, but Dustborn. 
Uh, so apparently, just heard about this. Uh, this I think it's the Sony version, the PS5 version. They're shutting down. They're shutting down the game. Wait, I need to heal back up. What am I doing? Make sure I don't need to heal back up if I'm not supposed to be hit anyway. Yeah, after two weeks, they're shutting it down. At least the PS5 version. I don't know about the other ones. Actually, what am I doing? Yeah, like... If I, if I have to do this no-hit anyway, it doesn't matter if I'm at full health or not. Do this. Let's -a go. Stupid no-hit runs. I actually have... I don't really have that, that much trouble with the no-hit runs on, like, when I've been playing... Uh, I, I've been playing uh, Twilight Princess. So it don't take me a few tries, sure, but honestly, I don't have that much trouble there. But yeah, since Concord is uh, shutting down after two weeks, I guess there are physical copies of the game uh, for the PS5 version. It makes me wonder if it's worth grabbing a physical copy because it might be one of those collector's items. Be like, look, it's a game that shut down after two weeks. Failed big time, surprisingly. Offering refunds. Yeah, yeah, they're offering refunds as well. That's insane. It's that big of a failure. Nope. Oh, come on, I ran into him. Same move. Collect it, but it probably won't work. Yeah. Yeah, it's one of those ones where it's like you're taking a bet on whether or not it will be a collector's item. Be like, look, it's the life service game that only lasted two weeks. But you also can't play it, so it's a paperweight. But it makes you wonder, though, if it's worth trying. Going again. We have to. It's kind of the job description right now. Even the uh, ET Atari game has more value technically since it's playable. Yeah, you can still play it. You can still play the game. I don't even know if I would have been able to make it. I've missed so many of my shots. Yeah, that's the problem with live service games, as well as, I guess, mobile games as well. Like, once they shut down, that's it. You get nothing. 
You can't play it ever again. That's my, I think that's my biggest issue with like this, you know, always online sort of mindset. So once they shut down, that's it. It's like MMOs as well. Once they shut down, good luck. Are there people that will bring back servers? Sure, but for the popular games. Yeah, it was dangerously low, from what I heard. Yeah, they, it, it, they were losing money by keeping that game up. Ready for a game of Snake? I'm pretty sure this snake is cheating, though. Oh, come on. You s I got hit. Fortnite's never going down unless they make Fortnite 2. At, yeah, that's the thing. Why Why would you even make a Fortnite 2, though? Like, at that point, it would have to be a drastically different game. You know? Offer basically a completely different experience than normal Fortnite that you would keep both. Again, it's like, why bother making an Overwatch 2, you know? It's the same argument. I was so close on that one. Made it. Yeah, with a... With a successful game like Fortnite or Overwatch or, I guess, Team Fortress 2 at the time, which technically that was a sequel, but if it's popular, there's basically no point in to make an actual direct sequel. As, not that I can think of, anyway. Like, in this day and age... that happening right when I got trapped in the corner. <laughs> Although, back in the day with, like, Quake and uh, Team Fortress, it kind of made sense. It's either you're basically just porting a game to a brand new console and have to remake it anyway, or you just make a sequel that's like, oh, this is, you know, this is for PlayStation 2 sort of thing. Or this is PlayStation 3, so let's just make a direct sequel. But nowadays, since everything's on Steam, there really is no point to just make a direct sequel to games like that.
I mean, can you can you think of a reason why they would bother to make like a Fortnite 2? Electric Boogaloo. Yeah, I got so close. To that. Sniped me. <laughs> this is gonna be like the most annoying part about doing some of these. And I already know that one of the other bosses is gonna require me to get a bottle. I already know that. Because it requires me to uh, use a bug to kill it. Which means you need a bottle. Isn't that fun? Grabbing the just in case. Let's try it again. It's a plane. Let's, uh, let's go. On. Let's go. I lost count at what attempt we're on. I thought I snuck past that fire. I thought I snuck past it. Seven thousand and one point five. Let's go. Let's do it. <sighs> I got hit. But that was the right amount. That was the right wombo combo right there. But no, I just had to get hit because I was counting in my head, I guess. This thing actually uses up magic. That's why I like to do that first. Let's -a go. No hit run. We shall do it. One, two, three, fire. One, two, three, fire. One.
Eventually, I have to. I have to get this eventually. It's going to happen. It's not a matter of if, it's a matter of when. And again, this is all to save Zelda right here and make sure she is special and she is the first one we save. Even though we get whatever. Okay. One, two, three, fire. One, two, three, fire. And I got hit. Good attempt right there. Just don't get hit by the freaking turtle head. That charges at you. Golden. Uh. Oh, oh, so, um. Did you guys hear about, uh, live action One Piece? Uh, I guess some of the season two cast has been announced. I don't know who any of them are. However, there is something interesting about it. Uh. So. It's not even going to finish the whole Alabasta arc. It seems like Season 2 is going to end right as they're about to get into Alabasta. Which I find interesting. Because I thought you could pull it off, but... It sounds like they just might make all of Season 3 into Alabasta. And if that's the case, then... What, this, it's a Netflix season, so we're talking like eight episodes? Eight al episodes for Alabasta? I can see it. I just wasn't expecting that choice. Oh, come on. I wasted a good amount of magic, too. Like I couldn't just freaking hit the firehead. And again, this is the boss I was referring to, where you needed the ice rod, and it's mandatory, but the ice rod is also, like, almost an optional item. Although the game does tell you that you need it, you need to go somewhere else completely just to get it. I thought that I defeated the, the ice dragon head. I somehow ran into the fire because I was stupid and not paying attention. That was weird. Thank you. 
There we go, made it work. Who cares how low my health is? I'm not supposed to be hit anyway. said, hey, let's do these uh, achievements instead of doing a randomizer where I can go at my own pace. Who thought this was a good idea? I don't know who. That guy's an idiot. Alright. At least this dungeon has a very nice checkpoint right here. That's like the saving grace of my sanity. Let's go. That's done. Firehead, which bounced me back, which made me bounce back into the main attack. Oh, come on. Freaking knockback. What is this, Castlevania? This is a Castlevania game now with this much knockback. Something else I was gonna bring up that happened over the week weekend, but I can't think of it. It wasn't the, it wasn't just the one piece season two thing. And I saw that guy. Alright. Try that again. But no, my mind's like, no, keep going. I could I could get him in two rounds, whatever. Nope. <sighs> It was too late. You mess up one hit, you need to back out. Go. Three, one, two, three, nope. Okay, I got it. Alright. Nice rod. Nice. 
Good or bad. What is it? Or neutral. What is this pet peeve, Monzai? on your mind. What's the pet peeve? Oh, let's try it again. stream a battle network but it's on the emulator instead of collection what's wrong with that when i played battle network one it was on the emulator but that was also before the collection and i had no way to uh record gba games see the problem. Like, if I didn't, like, here's the thing, Monsai, if I don't own the collection, but I still own my GBA cartridges, and I play on an emulator, what's the issue? I just got got the collection because I like the series and I wanted to be like, hey, I, I like having them on my Switch. But I also already own all the GBA cartridges. So I, I don't see the issue. It really comes down to like, the collection is easy for most people to get, uh, to get nowadays. It's an easy thing to just buy and get it all. Instead of tracking down six to 10 GBA cartridges that may or may not work. Uh, but, so like for people nowadays, if they want to stream the games, yeah, just buy the collections. It's an easy thing to just recommend to people. Ah, I'm wasting so much magic. made it to phase three, and I got hit right as I got to it. Is the pet peeve comes down to where it's like, you could buy the collection, but you, you choose to just play the game on emulator, and you don't even own any of the GBA games. Is that what it comes down to? Now, if for whatever reason the collection is not in your region, that's still a different ca uh, conversation. 
Oh, yeah. Yeah, I, I, I just don't really see that much of an issue with it. Uh, also, if you wanted to play Battle Network and use these retro achievements, you'd need to play on emulator with the GBA carts. You know? Because there's some Battle Network ones available. I don't think all of them have been made, though. And I got hit. Okay, time to reset again. This is fun. I don't... Uh... Yeah, exactly. That's kind of why I try to follow a few self-rules when it comes to emulation. Just to... You know, try to show my support when possible sort of thing. Uh, usually it's like... I, I have like a few rules sort of thing that I try to follow. Uh, if it never came out in your region in any way, shape, or form, go right ahead. If they wanted your money, they would have sold a version to you. Or if it's difficult to stream. Yeah, that is also another thing. Uh... If it never came out in your region, go for it. If they wanted your money, they would have made one for your region. Like, for example, Fire Emblem 3 that I played before this. Actually, two games ago. But yeah. Uh, if it did come out in your region, but maybe the version you want to play didn't, but there's another version. Try to own that version in any way, and then go nuts. Like, for example, uh, Mega Man and Base. I would want to play the Super Nintendo version because that's the better version. But that version never made it over here. You know what version did come over here? The GBA version. So own the GBA version emulate the Super Nintendo version because that's a way of showing support even though Nintendo wouldn't be getting my money from the GPA cartridge that I do not own yet. It's try to show some way of showing that I will buy, buy your games. Sort of thing. Uh, other factor uh so try to own at least a version, you know? Right? Uh, other factor. Did it come out in your region? What's the pricing? If it costs more than double than a brand new game to get, uh, get a copy you... Oh, come on. To get a copy you want to play, then just emulate it. Because that's more than double than getting a brand new game. If, uh, if it's as much or less than a brand new game, then just pick it up. If it's somewhere in between, where it's in between 60 bucks and like 120, that's a gray area that I still haven't figured out yet. Uh, It's kind of thing. A game that has a way to play it in a variety of ways, right? Joy Mech Fight. Unless you've gone to Japan, own a Famicom, and own a game that's also adapted to streaming, you're not going to. Yeah, yeah. Again, that's kind of why I say if it. Did it come out in your region in any form? No? Go for it. Like, if they wanted your money. You would have bought, uh, they would have made a version out to your region and you would have bought it. At some point. Like, if Mother 3 comes out officially in, in any form, I will buy it at some point. If Genealogy comes out in any form, I will buy it. Because, like, that's the uh, that would be the only way to officially play those games if they ever get like an official release. I know Mother Three is such a great game. Uh, 
Yeah, that's kind of my mindset when it comes to, like, playing a game on an emulator, you know? Especially, uh, more, I try to mostly follow the rules when I'm streaming, for sure. And, you know, try our best. And when I say, like, you need to own the game in some form, take Link to the Past, for example. Uh, I do not have a Super Nintendo cartridge. What I do have is a 3DS uh, Super Nintendo copy, like, downloaded on the 3DS. So I count that. I also have the Super Nintendo Mini, which has Link to the Past. So I say it's all good. You know? I own a version of this game. If that makes sense. Ah, uh, damn it. Come on, there we go. That's also the point. It's a way to tell the company you like it. You pirate AAI2. By repro yeah, reproduction cartridges are the closest to real fame, but since it's not really official, uh, it only means so much. Like, I have Mother 3 repro card, I have Mega Man Base repro card. I have Dragon Quest 1 and 2 Super Nintendo repro card. Uh, yeah, that, I think that's all I have for repro cards. But, like, in all of those cases, uh, that's the only way to play at least that version. It's not official, but, you know, I can actually play them on my Super Nintendo. Basically. Uh, but no. Uh, what is AAI 1 and 2? What does that stand for? Okay, no hit runs. I don't know what attempt to put on. Oh, Ace, the Ace Attorney stuff. Okay, yeah. Yeah, they're finally coming out. Damn it. Yeah, those versions are finally coming out to America. Yeah. So now that, since that's the only official way to play it, you pick it up at some point. You know? And there are some games that, like, even if they would be, like, reasonably priced, the fact that, like, some games are just delisted, be like, well, emulation's my only option now. Like, for example, uh, on the WiiWare, there were a few, like, uh, Konami made a few games under the Rebirth title. It's like Castlevania The Adventure Rebirth, like a remake of the G of the first GBA, no, not GBA, Game Boy, Castlevania game. And it's like a full remake. It was WiiWare only. And guess what? There's no other way to play that. I have wasted so much magic. So if I wanted to play that version, guess what? Emulation is one emulation is my only option. Two, like you can't even you can't even buy it on WiiWare anymore. The shops are shut down. So like if I wanted to purchase it and if the pricing was fine enough as it was, it wasn't too expensive for a downloadable ROM. I can't support it. Even if I wanted to. So like what am I supposed to do?
die already. I don't want to deal with you. I need to save Zerder. I have saved Zerder without getting hit. Take that. We have saved Zelda. And she is the first maiden we have saved. Oh, that's done. Let's go indeed, let's go. I appreciate you coming so far to rescue me. As I thought, you are, a you are the legendary hero. I have felt this from the first time we met. Ganon is waiting inside of his tower to pass through the gate linking, to linking the two worlds. Once Ganon enters the light world, it is unlikely that anyone can stop him. But if he stays in the closed space of this world, you can find him wherever he runs. Some maidens still need your help, though. Once you rescue them all, go to the Ganon's tower. We who are of the bloodline of the wise men will use our power to break Ganon's barrier. Scott, you must return peace to this country. Do you understand? Yes. May the way of the hero lead to the Triforce. I think it was... I don't know what's different about that dialogue. It may just be... Hey, there's other maidens to save. I don't know. But we did it. Took me two hours, but I did it. Um... Alright. So... I think there's a little bit more I want to explore on Death Mountain. But I think it's time to start going after some other bosses. Uh, what's in here? I don't think I went in here. Ah, some treasure! Push that down, push that there, push that up. Got some bombs. We got some rupees. Magic, is that it? Oh, it looks like that's about it. Found some more treasure. It's down here. I didn't check down here. Shop. But how's it going, Super Pocket Boy? Been a little bit. Uh, just going through the retro achievements. Uh, we got a lot. How many, how many do we have done? Like halfway through, we might be halfway through. But we have now uh, gotten to the point where uh, we're definitely doing a lot of save resetting. I went through all the dungeons just to loot some of their items, just so we could go after Zelda first. Because that was one of the requirements. Now I think the plan is we'll probably just start going to the other dungeons. Although I think I want to spend some time on a couple minigames. Okay, I, I, I don't think there's really a point to this, this location. Yeah, I don't really see the point. I think we got the treasure. Alright, what else is down here? I didn't look over here. There must be something. Alright. Uh, I think the left is the way back with the shots. There's nothing there. And nothing here. Okay. We're kind of at the point to uh, start going back to each of the dungeons and to try to uh, try to get all the maidens. But I'm pro I'm thinking of going back to the archery minigame and the digging minigame. Oh yeah, I do have the Xbox. Couldn't remember. 
no, we got him. I'm gonna double check this section before I leave. But yeah, I was thinking of maybe doing a randomizer of Link to the Past before I go on my break at the end, you know, after this week. I don't think that's gonna happen with how long some of this took. Yeah, I, I just don't think that's gonna happen. Ah, do what you need to do, Hawkman Dog. It's fine. We already we beat the boss. We saved Zelda first. If there was special dialogue, I don't know what it really was other than her just saying, save the other maidens. It didn't really seem like it was that special. I think this is just the way back up the mountain. Okay, it's easy. If it's easily available and not like unreasonably expensive. Like, $500 worth for DLC or for Sims 4 or some cards. Right, it's like... That's why I tried it on... Um, uh, the copies in some, in some form. You know? At least the base game. Because I, I didn't even think about DLC, right? You just brought up, like, $500 worth of DLC for Sims 4. I know, like, one of the Dead or Alive games. I, I don't know which one it was. But if you wanted, like, all the DLC, that's, like, a thousand bucks or something? They've just made so many, uh, like, costumes and stuff that it's, like, if you wanted to get everything, you're spending a lot of money. There's, there's mystical stuff here. I need to go back through. I need to go back through over here. But it's nice to be done with probably the most difficult dungeon. Get that done and out of the way. I need to look at like some of the achievements for some of the other dungeons. Um, I want so sequels to successive live service games. There's no reason for it. Right. Uh, I agree on Fortnite. Overwatch 2, there's no reason now, but it was advertised to be better graphically. They would add a story campaign in the game, and neither of which they followed up on. So, but, like, it's still the base gameplay. So, again, why make it Overwatch 2 when you could just easily do something like uh, Overwatch Deluxe and it just has better visuals and stuff? Why make a direct sequel? Because if you have Deluxe, it could, it could still, like, uh, play with the base version, right? Like, that would be the idea. It would need, like, drastic differences to the gameplay to actually be worth making a sequel like that. Okay. They turned it from a 6v6 to a 5v5. They actually took out content according to vet veterans. Right. But uh, six v changing a six v six to a five v five. I mean, technically it's a change, but it doesn't seem that big of a change. You play Pokemon Masters DX. I uh, originally you were just Pokemon Masters, but after a year they rebranded the game. It became completely different for the better. Used to be massive, massive yeah, uh, I, I had, I still actually have masters, uh, but I barely boot it up anymore. The last time I tried, there's just so many things there that I'm just kind of lost. Uh, get out of my way. But like, there was no reason to just make a direct sequel or anything. It was just, hey, just fix the game. You know. There would have been no... There wasn't a reason to just make Pokemon Masters 2, you know? That's one of those types of games where it's better to just rebrand it and fix it. What do we got here? 
Wow, a bunch of treasure! Alright, uh, the best way to get that would probably... No, oh, that works. Piece. Piece. That I don't need. More money. More money. More money. It was totally worth it. <laughs> Yeah, it was an amazing hashtag. It still is. Still is. Alright, I think we're done with that now. Yeah. That's a completely different game. Um. Okay. I want to go... Going to the dark world. And I'm gonna take care of the, the digging minigame and the, the archery minigame. So there's, there's less game modes just because they worked with the 6v6 format. Uh, you're saying there could have been more, but because they changed it. The modes they already had didn't work, so they would have to be basically make brand new modes. You know what's a game that I kind of figure, like, I don't see the point of making sequels? Uh, or at least as often as they do. Uh, Splatoon. That's a series where you only need, like, one Splatoon game per console. I don't see the point of having three Splatoon games on a single console. Like, okay, the first one was basically was a port of the Wii U game. That Okay, that's one thing. And then the sequel is just that but better. Okay, you know what? I'll move that. One's, basically, one's a port just to see if it would do well on the new console. Because, you know, the original was on a failed one. But making Splatoon 3 for the Switch, that's what I, like, what's the point? Why not just hold off? Until, uh... Why not just hold off on Splatoon 3 until the next console? Like, I don't see the point. What does the digging minigame want me to do? It wants me to... Earn... Oh, I can't do this. Earn 100 rupees or more in the digging minigame, but you have to have room for all of it, and I don't. Okay. Archery minigame it is. Is there, a... is there a way I could just dump money and get rid of it? Sadly, the... Uh, what was that? Uh, I can't really put money in the, the pond because it will just give me my money back. Alright. I gotta get my timing right. Gotta get all five. Yeah, got it all wrong. Gotta get all five to hit. Seriously, like, some of these should hit. No. But since you don't hit it perfectly in the center, it fails. That's a miss. I, I knew it was going to happen. Try again. Aim carefully. 
What do you mean you aim too late? I can't waste all that. I need to waste my money anyway. That should have hit. Come on. This is BS. How did that miss? <laughs> Seriously, like, the hitboxes on these targets are really small. Like, a little too small. You have to be dead on. Like, that was barely, I barely made it. And that was just like a frame too fast. Come on. Gotta waste all the money anyway. timing. Monsai, do you still play uh, Pokemon Masters at, at all? After a while, I, just, I lost interest, but do you still play it? I should. You do. I see. Yeah, last time I booted it up like a month or two ago, there was just so much stuff. Like, I can't, I don't know where to even begin. That, that is one thing about mobile games. If you jump in way too late, there's just so much stuff to try to memorize. To the point where you don't even know where to begin. Yeah, I know, there's always some sort of event going on. I got four rupees out of it. Ain't this fun? Alright. too soon. I don't know why. I'm like, oh, I'm gonna hold the button down so I can prep the arrow. Like, this is Twilight Princess or something. Just like, lost focus. It's a game you go back to once in a while, gamble, and then leave. Right. Again, I haven't... Ever since Dissidia Opera Omnia ended, I haven't really booted up, like, any mobile game. Which, to be honest, it's probably for the best that I didn't boot up, a, like, a new mobile game. Or just an existing one I already have. I feel much more productive in other ways, except I'm not really that productive. But I feel more productive that I'm not sinking time into mobile games. That should have hit. That should have hit. There's buddy moves now, dynamaxing, grids, gear, launch. And from what I remember with the grids, because when I was messing around with uh, 
Master ZX grids, I think, was a new thing. Uh, it bothered me that I could, I had to pick and choose which route to go, right? I can't max out the entire grid. I basically would have to pick what would be most useful for me, but since I don't really do, like, PvP or anything, I just never know what to go for. And if I'm correct, it's one of those things where you can reset if you want to, but, it, but it's a hassle to reset. And I believe, I don't remember if you lose all of your resources got it all done. No, you get nothing for it except rupees, but that's done. Yeah, but I'm just like, I don't know. I, I just didn't know what to go with. So, like... You do keep your resources. Okay. So, the moves master fares this one. Yeah. After a while, I'm just like, I don't really know what to go with. So, I just kind of don't bother. Uh, okay. A few features that are almost never used anymore, like bingo, EX puzzle, which is just this once you know what's ideal, it's not too bad. Right, but that's the problem, is when you don't really know what's ideal, uh, I don't, like... And then the lucky skills, which is just more gotcha, right? Because that's random, if I remember correctly. Okay, where can I waste money? What's, like, the fastest way to waste money? Like, I, I want to spend it all, but I can't really sp spend it on anything. Because I basically have all the Bible stuff I want. Oh, how much does, like, the digging minigame cost? Because maybe it's a good idea to start digging. How much does it cost? It's only eight. It's 80 rupees to play. Collect as many rupees, but if I'm correct, there's a heart piece. There's a heart piece here somewhere. I actually don't care about the rupees right now. I wouldn't be able to get the issue if I wanted to. Let's find the heart piece. It is random, but at some point you should have enough cookies, so it doesn't matter. Uh, it's... When I... When Dissidia was still around, there was one aspect... I forget what they were called, but they were basically passives. And I didn't like those either. Because it was just random gotcha whether or not you get a good set. If you have an attacking unit, you won't create a struggle too. Yeah, I... Yeah. Yeah, uh, it, it makes me think of Dissidia. Where if you wanted, like, these passive skills, you have to spend resources to get, uh, get a random chance for skills you may or may not want. And then there's different tiers. So you could get, like, oh, fire boost, or you could get a fire boost plus or you could get a fire boost plus plus. And there's a random amount of uh, ability points it uses to, con uh, to uh, equip this passive. And each passive you can have two abilities per one. But like getting good skills was just random chance. And it was not fun. I never bothered. It was too random. That was like the only thing I did not do because everything else, it was something I could just grind for and work on. Man, I'm not getting the rupees one, that's for sure. There is a heart piece here somewhere. I always hate trying to get this one. 
It's 80 rupees, so I get to use up on that bit. The achievement is get all get 100 rupees during the mini game, but you need to actually, you know, be able to hold 100. It's still just random chance. Where's the heart piece? I got it. I got the achievement. I got the hundred rupees. Uh, now I just need the heart piece. <laughs> uh, I mean, Crypto Strike Two is a one eight, uh, one eight chance from Golden. Okay, sounds bad. Vigilance comes from premium cookies, but you have a lot. That was also part of it. I just don't think I had enough resource to be like, is it worth it? But again, it was also one of those things where I hadn't played in like, who knows how long. There is a heart piece in this, right? I'm starting to remember, I think there's a lot of heart pieces that I don't like getting, and a good chunk of them are in this game. I don't like the digging in the game. I don't like the, oh, just pick two treasure chests, there may be a heart piece. Yeah, if you play the game every day and just build up resources, that that's another factor. Which, when Dissidia was around, I was completely free to play. And freaking so many. Basically, every one of my characters was built up. Like, after a while, like. The game was so generous with its uh, gotcha pulls. That being completely free to play was actually kind of viable. <laughs> Uh, it's too bad that game shut down. I don't know why it did. Heart piece! We're done here. Oh, we're done there. Okay. So. Uh. What's next? It's the dungeons, right? So, we need to go. I can't do that. I think I actually have to save that for last at this point. Uh... Oh, okay. There is a way to do it. Let's go to... Can we do Ice Palace or Misery Mire right now? Let me take a look. That misery mire at this point. Yeah. Only bombs, kill the big eye with only arrows, and rescue naked. Maiden. That's easy. Alright, let's go to Misery Mire. We need to use the mirror and then warp. random chances can be mitigated or removed entirely outside of the main gotcha. Right, of course. They have to make money somehow. Yeah, no, like, I always liked uh, Dissidia. Man, like, its gotcha was so generous. Or at the, well, not only was the gotcha really generous, the, uh, the in-game currency to get the gotcha pulls was also, like, they give you a lot of gems. They just give you a lot to work with. Again, like, I spent no money in that game, and I was, after a long time of, you know, working on it, uh, I was able to basically help out in raids. It was nice most fair gotcha game I have ever played. 
right, Misery Mire. Let's go fight the boss. Let's go find the boss. Although I might be missing some treasure chests. There's probably a couple chests I'm missing. Ah, having to go through this dungeon again. Isn't this fun? Having to do a dungeon and then leave just to save Zelda first. Helping a Japanese streamer with Battle Network 2. Uh, what did they need help with? Or were you just helping out just to help out? Uh, we need to go. I think all the way up. We need to play Battle Network 3. You casually asked if he was skipping the post game 2. Apparently you had no idea about the post-game. Well, I was going to say, if you only play the first game, there is, like, no post-game in that one. Uh, give me a sec. What's that? Yeah, there is, like, no post-game in one. I mean, kind of there is, but... Yeah, Battle Network 2, like, its post-game is pretty good, but, you know, you have to put some work into it. Okay, I need to hit a switch somewhere. Yeah, I, I need to hit a switch somewhere. Where is it? Oh, did I need to go, like, up there? that room because there's no switch on the bottom floor yeah I, I need to go from that room to flip a switch you didn't do a single job from the bbs except from the required ones well that would that would change things yeah that's for sure did did you help this well I, i'm pretty sure he's still playing the game but did you help this guy are you gonna help this guy get hub uh hub back Well, yeah, with the S license, don't you need to get everything, like, do all the other BBS boards first? I need to grab every chest here, but it seems like I can probably fight the boss right now. It's looking like I can just fight the boss. Still more to explore. Oh, we need the King of Somalia. Make sure we put it in the right spot. There's a secret style change, not sure if I want to go for it. I mean, it's very broken. It is a very broken style change. I'll say this though, um, he probably doesn't need to go for, uh, the, the ten secret chips that you get from multiplayer in Battle Network 2. He probably doesn't need to go and do that. Unless someone is willing to trade, which, with the cloning glitch, you know, you could just go that route. That was a, that was a stressful, like, Battle Network 2 session to just do that. Gator or Gate Magic is called Japanese, which is far better. Gator is one is like your best friend until you get bodyguard. After that, after a certain point, Gator starts underperforming. But for the majority of the game, Gator is just super good.
But does, uh, oh yeah, he, it's not like he could use uh, Dark Messiah yet anyway. He needs to be base, which he, you know, you need post game for that. But yeah, like, once you start getting Bodyguard, then get, at that point, uh, Gator is outperformed, being outperformed. Oh yeah, Gator is good for a good chunk of the game. That's for sure. The only one that caused trouble for me was Pong Man. Um, I'm trying to remember who, who I struggled against at Battle Network 2. I know I struggled against some of you characters, but I forget who. That's something I would need to look back at my old streams. Which, that's something you can do at, on the Archive channel on YouTube. Link below. You <laughs> show right now. Uh, I don't, yeah, I don't remember, like, some of the issues I had. Some of the bad guys. I, you don't even need to use Doc Gospel Duplication Twitch. Okay, the achievement. Uh, defeat the little ones with only bombs, and then defeat the big one with only arrows. Uh, and also, we're gonna try not to get hit. Yeah. Okay, that was me being dumb. Okay, we got a better idea. And even then, you'll need five Shadow Mans, yeah. It is a ridiculous amount of Shadow Man chips to get. But once you have Bodyguard, it's so worth it. And it's, man it's pretty much mandatory if you're going after base. Which you have to if you want, uh, Hubstar. Because remember, S rank and all that. But hey, I mean, you could tell him there's actually a hard mode for doing everything. There's hard mode difficulty, and if you beat that, there's a, a, an extra chip you can get for your main file. Yeah, you probably won't. But it's it is something. Freaking trying to get those secret chips from multiplayer. If you're actually doing it without any sort of cloning glitch or actual trading, it is it is hell. It is just utter hell to do it. Right. I mean, there there really isn't actually anything new in hard mode in terms of like terms of like new bosses or anything it's just oh all bosses have more hp and deal more damage whoop de doo i get up there right right I know there's more chests I need to open. He's almost able to take out uh, Rish, his second try. Down to Which one's Rish? Or Rush? Oh, yeah. Yeah, that one takes a lot of focus. I know I could get to the boss, but I still need to open the other treasures. I get to restock the bombs. What was up north? Uh, do that. There we 
we go. That's how we get up here. Now we can open this treasure chest. We get a key. Gotta open all those treasures. Which it, I think it's down below. Oh yeah, uh, for S ranking rush, don't don't you get like drop down or something? Not drop down, pop up. Yeah, I feel like that one took me a little while to get. Because Foul Network 1 and 2, it's like not guaranteed. You can still get money. The specific code, yeah, that's that's right. What was the trade for? Uh, because I don't remember. There's a lot I don't remember. It's been a while. It's been more than a year. Tornado? Really? Was that the only way to get it? Oh, I believe that. I believe that would. I believe that would do that. I didn't fully explore this. If I want that treasure, I gotta go back. get to the treasure without getting hits? Actually, probably. Oh, wait. Hold on. Just... Come on. Well, I got hit, but I didn't die, so it worked out. I uh, tried to turn you into a fairy, but end up getting hit myself. Time to try again. Let me guess, I have to flip the switch again. I could use the mirror to teleport to the entrance, but I don't know if that would, uh, reset the switch. I think it's just one more treasure chest, too. All of, and it's probably just gonna get me like either a key or some rupees or something. It's probably all it's gonna do. Oh yeah, the mirror show reflects that. Battle Network 2 also has, like, Grass Stage, right? So, like, you could do the Fire Tornado against Planet Man, and, but also turn his stage into Grass Tiles for more damage, at least for a single hit. I'm kind of sad that they got rid of the, the different tile chips. Like, they were fun to use. But... At least six has the seeds, which kind of serve a similar purpose. Maybe. 
made it. Alright. I should have enough HP. But I'll go ahead and turn you to a fairy. Yeah, well, that's more HP than I had before. How's the game going? Game's going okay, Tyler. Uh, we saved Zelda at uh, Turtle Rock, and that's the first maiden we saved. So now it's time. Now we're going back through other dungeons and actually completing them. You know, get all the treasure and uh, you know, save the maidens. So we're at Misery Mire because I'm told that if you beat this one in the Ice Palace. Then the super bomb opens up, which allows me to get uh, silver arrows, which I need super arrows, or silver arrows. Because apparently, to beat the first boss of the dark dungeon, or the dark world, one of the achievements is like, no, 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 you need silver arrows for this thing. You're like, but I can't get them. Am I going the right way? No, I'm not. I'm not going the right way. So right now I'm just trying to get the last of the treasure chests in Misery Mire. Then I gotta go beat the boss and try not to get hit as well as do like specific requirements for an achievement. There was a switch right there the entire time. I could why did I waste so much time? My brain just ignored that that switch was e I'm out of magic. My brain ignored that the switch was even there. I need magic power. Okay, come on. There, there's some magic. Now I can get the chest. treasure is the compass. So worth it. It tells me where the boss is. It is so useful, chat. I totally need that. It's not like I don't know where the boss is. I know there are other rooms, but I believe I got all the chests in the... in the Misery Mire. Did I get yeah, I got all the chests in Misery Mire. All those other rooms? Pointless. Now to head to the boss. Defeat his little moops with bombs. And defeat uh, the big one with arrows. All without getting hit. to explore every room of Misery Mire. There's nothing else here. But what's going on, Tyler? What's going on? Alright. Uh, we have a key. Might as well use it. Wow, it's rupees! I told him. It's been a while since I played this particular game. Yeah, I'm playing in a weird way, too. Like, I have no bottles. Because I can't have bottles when I fight Ganon. For some reason. They decided. But yeah. Which uh, uh, favorite Zelda game? Or top three? Whoever works here. I don't know, I'd probably go Majora's Mask, Wind Waker, Breath of the Wild? Slash Tears? I don't know which one to go with. 
for that, but yeah. I'd say that's probably my Triforce of Zelda. And I think right below that would probably be uh, Link Between Worlds. I like that game. I'm not sure of the other two top three. Yeah, Majora's Mask is just a great game, though. So, I, I just know Majora's Mask, probably Breath of the Wild, or Tears, and Wind Waker. It's just too bad with Wind Waker that it got rushed. So it's kind of unfinished. Just needed a game out on the GameCube. Lost time! Boss time. And blow up these eyes with bombs. He's about to shoot uh, electricity. Oh, I remember one thing I was going to bring up. Uh, the trailer for the third Sonic movie uh, was released. It seems like a Sonic movie. With Keanu Reeves as Sh Shadow the Hedgehog. Which, honestly, it's perfect casting. It seems like perfect casting to me. Uh, oh! Getting hit by my own bomb doesn't... No, it does count. It does count. It's getting hit. Okay. I was gonna say, like, the symbol's still there, but no, that's a different one. Try it again. Uh, Link's Awakening has got to be up there. Interesting. Again, I, that's one of, like, the two Zelda games I haven't played. Link's Awakening and Minish Cap. Although, I've played a good chunk of Minish Cap. I've just never beaten it. I haven't even played the remake of uh, Link's Awakening. Just never really had the money to pick it up. As well as, like, there was other stuff I would have rather had. And uh, part of me still wants Link's Awakening to get a price drop, to be honest. Switch version looks nice, but, like, I don't know. 50 bucks? Probably go more somewhere between 30 and 40. But, you know, it's the Nintendo Switch. It's actually successful, so Nintendo makes, like, no price drop deals. You know, we still don't have Nintendo Selects because reasons. And it's not the argument that the Switch is successful, the Wii had Nintendo Selects. The 3DS did, too. I'm still waiting for Nintendo Selects to come back. Because I want some of their games, but I'm like, I think some of these are a little too spendy for me right now. I gotta pick them up if they're cheaper. Are there any games that like that where it's like, ah, I'll wait for a price drop? Of course, it's Nintendo, so they never go on sale. But you know, still, I'm pointing out. Plenty, <laughs> right? But there are some games to be like, yeah, I think that's worth full price. 
And there are plenty of other games that would be like, no, I want a price drop. spot to like jump in for this boss no have to go through the entire dungeon all over again how fun no hit runs my problem was more with the no hit run than the use bombs now you you are able to use safe states and all but, however, if you want to be a true gamer, you can turn on hard cohort mode because, you know, no scrub uses safe states. You also, you get more, like, gamer points for having hard cohort mode on to show that, no, you play how the game was intended. Because I'm the fool that does that. Is there, like, another spot that's like, oh, you can exit out here, and it will just let you start at a closer spot? Doesn't really seem like there would be. I think I just have to go all the way through. Yeah, like, I can think of, like, Donkey Kong Country Tropical Freeze as a game I want to wait for a price drop. Not that the game doesn't deserve, like, paying full price. It's just, I already have the Wii U version. And I paid that when it was... Wii U games were 50, I believe. So, yeah, I paid, like, 50, bu 50 bucks for that when it came out. And then eventually got a Nintendo Selects, which, that was $20. And then, you know... Actually, it might have been 40 when it came out. But, and then it's like, Nintendo's like, okay, here's, here's the game again, but with, like, no changes for more money than what it was back on the Wii U. Isn't that a good price scheme? <laughs> You're like, I mean, the game itself is, like, best platformer of all time, but I already have the game. I spent less money on that than getting it again. That's kind of why I want to, like, hold off on that one. Wait for Nintendo Selects, but they never make them. I keep telling myself, hey, we're just supposed to get Switch 2 soon. They're totally going to... Uh, uh, they're totally going to start Nintendo Selects again. Right? Copium just never stops. And then, like, uh, uh, Hyrule Warriors, the first one, was also kind of a case where it's like, I already have the Wii U and the 3DS version. I don't need another one right now. I'll wait for it to go down in price, and then I think it went up in price. <laughs> so, like, damn. These eyeballs are going to die eventually. The bomb hits a lot of them, so, like, it should happen in time soon. Man, how many bombs does it take to kill an eyeball? Seriously, how many I, how many explosions does it take to kill an eyeball? You think one would be enough? 
I know they're weak to, like, bows and a hookshot, but, you know, it's an eyeball dealing with an explosion. Honestly, like, not many things should be able to just beat explosions. But you know what can beat an explosion? A Psyduck. With damp ability. It stops all explosions. Maybe that's what this eyeball has. Damp. Actually, if that was the case, the explosions wouldn't work anyway. So no, it doesn't have damp. things like never do anything. I don't know why I keep checking. Go in here first. Then go up here. Flip the switch, go back down. Stock on bombs soon. Yeah. Uh, you only paid two full price for two games Elder Ring and Shadow Fight 2 Premium Edition. I don't think I ever heard of Shadow Fight. But just kind of wait for uh, price drops or just distracted with like free to play stuff like Fortnite. damage. It's not like they're recovering to full health. Or anything. It's just... You can take a lot of explosions. And I used up like 10 bombs right there. Let me restock. Yeah, I need to restock on bombs. And these guys are not going to give me them. Oh, well, you gave me one. Who knew that, like, the Dark World is going to have really annoying fights to deal with? And yet, I was making good progress, too. I'm like, oh, I could finish this whole thing, you know, before I go on my break. Right? No. No, of course you don't drop bombs. I probably need to leave and come back just to restock on bombs. Use my money for that. seems to drop them. 
And here, I, and I was also thinking, like, I never use bombs. I never really need to worry about, you know, running out of bombs. Is that like magic? Okay. And here I am, about to run out of bombs. And bombos doesn't count. It has to be an actual bomb. Is this? There we go. Finally. I had to like use up all of my health just to freaking get that one block there. This allows me to survive my trek over to the boss. I could try going to the Ice Palace one. some stupid challenge for it. it uh, Shadow Fight 2 is a mobile game. Uh, hated the ads. And the game is a lot of fun, so you bought the game for five bucks. Oh, only five bucks? That's not bad. That's not fair. I freaking couldn't drop my bomb. What do I need to do for Ice Palace? So maybe that's better. Uh, Ice Palace, Ice Palace. That's only the Fire Rod, which that's kind of what you need to do anyway. Wait, is this one of those cases where you need a bottle? You'll need some magic potions. It may be possible to be done with one magic mirror, but you need to do trick shots with fire rod to make it to where you can get two or more eyes at once. Uh, you did this with no potions down to the last shot. You get seven shocks to kill him. You enter with a full bar, including the half upgrade. Because you have 15 shots, and you need eight for the first phase, which then dies at four hits. So the boss effectively has 12 HP. You get damage up to three HP per hit. At best, you only need four shots. Blah, blah, blah. So either I need bottles for the... Yeah, I need to refill. So either I need... Uh... <laughs> I, I either need a bottle to refill my magic, or I need to be absolutely perfect for the ice dungeon. Hmm. Oh wow, rupees! Hey, herpes. That's actually worth it. Okay, um... The only reason I wanted to go to Misery Mire was to try to get the sorry, just try to get the Super Bomb. But I'm having trouble. And it seems like we need a bottle for uh, the ice one. What about Thieves Town? Only the King of Samaria, which... Do we need a bottle for that? Wait. And it doesn't seem like it's actually that bad. 
Thieves Town is an idea. Skull Woods, we need a bottle. We need the ice rod for uh, the dungeon where you get the hook shot. I'm not reading anything about needing a bottle. The final phase, only with the ice rod. We can probably do that. We can probably do that. Let's see. I need to refill on stuff anyway, so... So we could go to Thief's... Uh, the Thief's Den? Or we could go basically to this one. There's a way to teleport right up here. Right past there. We need the hammer. says the final phase with only the ice rod. What am I doing? I need to drain I need to drain the water. Here and drain the water. Kind of annoying we have to do this every time. That's Super Nintendo, I guess it just doesn't remember that. Who knows, maybe we could get a better sword, even though I probably won't even be using the swords against the bosses. Actually, I will for some of them, for the ones that require the bottle, because I would have to redo those fights. Okay, let's see. Right, what was the path to take? I think I need to head all the way down here. This way? I need to go into this door. Because I got the hook shot. Where did the game want me to go next? That can't be it. Okay, where did I go? South or north? I just never went down this way. Okay. Oh my god. This was just a loop. For a treasure! Got the compass. Now I know where the boss is. And nothing else. I gotta head north, which I believe I need to do. That. And I don't have a key. Okay. Where's the key at? Basically, just got the hook shot and then left. Let's see, where would it be? I do 
Do you need to flip this again? No. No, I don't. The water's already flowing. This is why I don't like just leaving a dungeon and then coming back. I always get lost. Like, what did I do? What do I need to do again? It also doesn't help that in a few days. Treasure. Flip the switch. Oh, yeah, that's right. Flip the switch. And then take the right path. Okay. That's right. I remember that. So, yeah. Hit that and go around. And that should get me the key. Take the right path. Switch gone. Perfect. That should get me treasure that I already got. What a waste of time. Where's the key? Down one of the other pathways, I guess. Can't go up the middle without a key. This doesn't have a key. It's just a heart. because that's my only option. Let's just pull the tongue. Pull the tongue? Nope. Oh, right. Is it here? It is there. Perfect. It's kind of weird that keys will just be underneath, like, a skull or a pot in this game. So you think you're looking for a treasure chest. Pointless, but I got a bomb out of it. So it worked out. Still need a lot more bombs. Oh, uh, I see. Okay. Went the wrong way. Isn't that fun? Uh, I need to go 
goes south? Or do I have to flip the switch and then come back that way? I have to flip the switch and then go back. Head back here. Heal up, I guess. Treasure! Rupees that I can't use. If this was Twilight Princess, it would force me to put the treasure and uh, put the rupees back in the box. Because you can't fit it in your wallet. Put it back so you can use it later, but it's like it's Twilight Princess. I can't use my rupees for anything. <laughs> Seriously, Twilight Princess has had that problem. Or like its rupees were just kind of useless. You just the game loves giving you rupees. Just take the left path. I don't remember if there was anything special over here. Like, Twilight Princess loves gi giving you rupees, and you have nothing to use them on. the wallet upgrade, you have to do the Golden Bugs side quest, which by giving Golden Bugs to Agatha, you get Rupees as rewards. So it's like, great, I need Rupees, but to get a bomb back, to get a higher wallet, I need to do the thing that gets me more Rupees. Okay. See what's back there. No, not that I need that. Kind of wish it gave you like three bombs. My way. Oh, I don't have a key. Fantastic. There it is. And there you go. Bus time. Final phase. Use the ice rod. Things can hurt you, like as soon as like you get away from me, dude. I gotta be careful on that final hit, cause if I if I hit him in any other way, I could lose it.
no hits. Only Ice Rod on final. Got them both. What did this actually give me? That wasn't that bad. The other one we could do is uh, Thief, Thief Town. Because of you, I can escape the clutches of the evil monsters. Thank you. The Triforce will grant the wishes of whoever touches it, as long as that person lives. That is why it was hidden in the Golden Land, and a secret few knew of its location. At some point, that knowledge was lost. The person who rediscovered the Golden Land was Ganondorf, the evil thief. Luckily, he couldn't figure out how to return to the Light World. Well, remember that you have magical powers, which only the hero can make the most of. There are some other magical warping points, like the one you saw on Death Mountain. By using them, you can go between the two worlds and find the, e the evils hidden in the Dark World. You are the only one who can destroy Ganondorf. The thief, no. Ganon, the evil king of darkness. Do you understand? Technically, you pay 10 bucks less for Elden Ring now than you think about it. Oh, uh, was it on, slightly on sale? Or something? Okay, well, that's another dungeon done. Uh, we could go to Thief Town. I'll try to finish that one. Is that... That should be okay. If I could finish the Thief Town one, then what we might end up doing is, on the next stream, we'll go to Skull Woods and... What was the other one? Skull Woods and... There was one that also required ball. I think it might have been the Ice Palace? and try to do those ones that require bottles. Or is heavily helpful with bottles. Get those done. Then, uh... Have to reset and do those again. Oh, wait! We can do this now? Uh, your body did not change. You are not just an ordinary guy, are you? I used to live in Kakariko Town. wonder if that might... I wonder what my partner is doing there without me. I have a request for you. Please take me to my partner. Please. We'll do just that. Wait a minute. I just remembered something. I don't think I should be doing this. One second. Gains tower without having a sword. You just have to reunite the brothers before this one. Asking them to temper your sword or not makes no difference. Wait. No, 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 no. Well, the hookshot help. You can turn your sword to get it tempered in the dark world. Get all seven crystals before you do this. Then turn your sword in with. Oh, okay. I shouldn't be doing this right now, actually. Sorry, you're gonna have to go later. And I feel like if I reunite them right now, it would actually just cause me to temper the sword? Which I can't do. Thanks, achievements. Um, he won't let me go into the dungeon because he's following me. Did I make a mistake? mistake. Alright. I'm gonna fix this. There we go. Oh. He's still following me. Well, um... I really hope that uh, I could choose one to get my sword tempered. Because now he won't stop following me. And I don't know if dying is going to fix it. 
Let's see if Diane's gonna fix it. Or, you know, let's just try to return to return him. Jeez, in like other cases, like what would happen is like, oh no, you're going this way, I can't go there. I'll, and then they just leave. But no, this time it's like, no, nah, I'm just gonna continue to follow you, no matter where you go. Basically, I probably would have had to reset, but I would have to redo that boss, and that was a lot of fun. Hmm. Okay, I think I have to... I think I have to take him back. Let's hope... Okay, he's back. Oh, happy days. We are here again. You found my partner. We are happy now. Drop by here again, and at, at that time, we will temper your sword perfectly. Oh, that's good. That's good. They're not tempering my sword. That thing is for the bottle. scared of it there. But we're fine. So, you can bring the guy back, and they won't automatically temper your sword. That's good. That's a good sign. So now if I want to temper my sword, I need to talk to him. Where do I need to go? to get the girl, but she is... Down here? Forget how to get up there. No, I think I did the wrong thing. Top right? Might be the top right. Yeah, hot corn dog. The bot won. Yeah, it's a little rigged somehow. The fact that it's there in the first place. I don't know how to, like, get the bot out of there without it just running out the clock, you know what I mean? But it was there because, you know, it was keeping track of all my deaths. Can I have a nap? Yeah, you have a good uh, rest of your day, Monzai. I will try to finish up Thief's Den. And after that... I mean, technically, I could try Misery Mire again. It's one thing to go after Misery Mire, I just need more bombs. We can't go after the first dungeon of the Dark World. We can't do that. Hey, Sydney, how's it going? Uh, got a few achievements. We saved Zelda as the first maiden. Uh, I finished one of the other dungeons, so we saved two maidens so far. A lot of resetting because of bottles and all that, so yeah. Uh, doing fine. I um, thought it'd be a lot further along than I thought it would be, but no. The the boss of the Turtle Rock just wanted to take an hour to do. I had to do it twice. Uh, where's Molly? She is. She's over there. Molly, come here. Come here. Why don't you come on camera, Molly? She's by the door. Let me go get her. Molly, come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Uh, let's go say hi. Let's go say hi. There we go. Hi. There she 
is. Here we go. She's on camera. Here to say hi. There we go. Gotta have the doggo pop up. Right. Right. doing Sydney. <laughs> yeah, but like she only appears in the background only so much, right, Molly? Right. I know. Where's your bum? There's your bum. Going on. Right now, we're gonna try to beat this dungeon, which I need to save the maiden, but try to take her out to like two different exits for dialogue. How's the game going? Uh, we're we got five dungeons to do, and we gotta do weird things. Uh, for the boss of this one, we need to beat the boss with the Cane of Somalia. Only. Also not get hit. Uh, there's the eyeball boss that I was trying to beat, but that requires me to beat the small eyeballs, uh, with bombs, and then the big eyeball with arrows, and I just ran out, I was running out low on bombs, so I left Misery Mire. Um, the first Dark World dungeon apparently requires me to have the Silver Arrows, which I can't get yet. But more of that than before. Well, that's because I am uh, sitting farther away from the TV, so you don't, so you see more of my face. Uh, hold on, I'm getting my ass kicked. See, I'm normally like this. <laughs> So you see a lot less in my bed. There we go. Okay, so now I need to take the maiden to the front exit to try to leave. But then she's like, no, I don't want to go that way. I, I do walk her. I do walk her. I try to walk her every day. I'm more consistent with it, although there are some days where I forget. But no, I'm pretty consistent with walking her. I usually go, like, in the evenings. Like, at around 6 when it's cooler. That's when I usually try to walk her. Oh no, I'm bunny. Okay. Oh yeah, no, I, I I give her a walk, or I try to. She enjoys her walks, although she is also like constantly tries to explore everywhere. Uh, wait a minute, please please don't go that way. No, I don't want to leave. Housekeeping. Uh, no, not yet. No, that will be at the end. Uh, starting at the end of the week, I'll be house sitting then. But I will also not be streaming then, so that's also another factor. Oh yeah, that'll be next week. I'm hoping to finish this up before then. This way. We have the maiden here. We need the cane of Somalia. Oh no, you put me in the sun. It's too bright. Dang it. 
I mean, I can, I can still message on Discord. It's on my phone, but I just won't be streaming. Great. Uh, I got hit, so now I need to die. That's how it works. Yeah, pretty much. I, I use Discord on my phone to message. So, yeah, that's not an issue. Okay, I saved the maiden once, so I think she's just gonna stay in the boss room. So I don't have to go all the way back down there. That should save time. Honestly, the King of Somalia is not that bad. Like, you could just place the block and then just kind of focus on dodging it's just when the head starts moving. Yeah, uh... Yeah, people come back. There. There's that. Just dodging. Start flying around. Uh, and I got hit. Oh, great. I can't, I can't get rid of this guy, can you? It's like Leoc, Zelda 1. And it's one of those get good sort of moments. Like, if I'm fighting the boss normally, it wouldn't be that much of an issue, but it's like, no, 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 only use this block. Thanks for stopping by, Sydney, and, uh, yeah, good luck with, uh, what you need to do. I'll try to beat this boss. I think we might be good. Can Somalia at least doesn't use up that much magic. Gonna need to refill soon. Please tell me these drop magic. No, just hearts. Alright. The other option is. I could just try to do this one achievement and just defeat with the king, but then reset and then just fight him normally without getting hit. But I don't know, like, it feels like it would be easier to just try to do it all in one go. If not easier, just be like, hey, I did it. Where can we get a quick magic refill? There is no quick magic refill, is there? Yeah, there's no quick magic refill. Dang it. Um, you know what place had a consistent magic refill? Turtle Rock. about in here. I might just try again. Yeah. Actually, there's one place I can check. Very quick. Go over here. Up this way. I'm just gonna do this. The same place that got me the magic refill. Ooh, bombs. Uh, the same place that let me have the half magic. I'm wondering if that lets me also... Uh, if that will refill it. Let's try it out. I've ne nope, that doesn't work. Never mind. What a waste of magic. Is there a spot in town? I 
can refill magic. I can't think of any. Sadly, to heal magic, you need a bottle. And I think I'm just kind of out of luck. And just need the potion. Well, we'll give it a couple more attempts, I guess. Let's see what I could do. Is it just in the wrong spot? No, I was in the wrong spot. Okay, that, that's fine. Hmm, that's a good way to refill magic. Just hope I get a magic drop, I guess. It's not really the best option. Just try again. Let's hope we get what we need. And no tempered sword because one of the achievements is get through Ganon's tower all the way through in one run without having your sword. The only way to lose your sword is to get it tempered. I thought there were two ways to get rid of it, but no, the... I think the final sword upgrade is, like, from a fairy that just powers it up. Oops. At least I'm refilling the bombs. Okay, let's just try it. Unless I get more magic, I don't think I can attempt more. Hmm. And this game has no in. Save and continue. There's gotta be a drop somewhere for magic. So if I can't refill my magic, I'm gonna have to do something else. That's health. Yeah. You know what? I, I need to just kill some of these blobs. Maybe they could draw magic. Oh, well, that's arrows. That's not what I need. That's basically what I had last time. But is that enough? Maybe. Maybe not. We, we shall try. We dropped bombs. We dropped a rupee. Is there another? I thought there was another one. Never mind. Alright. Let's try again. Do that. 
I am wasting a lot of my magic. Got one. So look, I'm basically out of magic. Gotten hit. There it is. Yeah, I got hit. At least the mirror shield helps block projectiles, but it only does so much. Again, this is just Leoc. Without a way to refill magic, I don't know what to do. I think to refill magic, I need to visit a fairy fountain. The closest fairy fountain is... I actually don't know where the closest fairy fountain is. Is there even one in the light world? I want to give another attempt, like one more, but... Let's see. Uh, that's the one that... No, I can't do that. Let's go here. Uh, we want to jump into the lake. Sounds like I need a bottle for the ice uh, dungeon. So if I throw in 100 rupees, can I refill my uh, bombs? I mean, I have the rupees to spare. I'm not worried about that. Bombs? You cannot... You don't even refill my bombs. Okay, how do you get magic back? Without a bottle. So right now, that's the... That's the determining factor. Just kill one of these guys? And that worked. That worked out. Maybe those guys are more likely to drop potions. Let's give it a couple, uh, a couple more attempts. And I hope we can do it. And don't get hit. And only use the cane. Take that long to get to the boss, so this ain't gonna be that bad. It's gonna be worse. Wait a minute, no, excuse me? Okay, no, we're dying. Hold on. I mean, I have... 
had to reset that, but hold on. Sounds like a new strategy has just been unlocked. to get hit anyway. Okay, hold on. Let's test this out. Is it there? He gets hurt. I don't need to actually fire it. Oh, that's so weird. That changes a lot of things. I just need it in the right spot. Yes, it does. Uh. Oh my god. Uh. And I got hit. That is a game changer. Uh, who cares about Amy? Just place it in his path. Okay, and I just hope you're good at dodging all those projectiles, all ten of them, which in this game, that's a lot. Oh, that's a game changer. When you get past phase one. Oh, I'm willing to give this a few more attempts. I'm using way less magic because of it, too. Because, oh no, I missed. Gotta try again and waste more magic. Yeah, you don't need that much MP for this one. That was gonna be one worry. Was to be like, oh, I need more MP. I can't do it all, so I need a bottle. No, this ain't that. Actually, don't I get a bomb like consistently? Yeah, I need those. Yeah, I need to restock. I probably just have to buy more bombs. Forget which shop lets me do that. It's really just like, after a certain point, it's all about just dodging. And with this game, I don't know. It only does so much. There's no sidestep, there's no dodge roll. No, just do it. Eight directions, that's all you get. Again. 
now, so I think the block eats some of the projectiles. Give it a couple more champ. How about three more times? Three more attempts for today. I'll call it. I know we spent like two hours just on the Turtle Rock section alone, but you know, we got so much. You know, only, only so much time. to be close. We're going to give it a couple more attempts. There's still some things about the pattern that I don't fully understand. Like how long it takes for him to swap to the other side. And if you, you know, get rid of one of the heads, right? Does that reset the, the the timer or the amount of... Uh, does that basically reset the timer when they'll move to the other side? Or do I have to just keep it in mind? Oh, no. Alright. Let's try it again. I got hit. Okay. I got enough for one more attempt. One more. probably start with this next time or I can go get all the other treasures in Ice Palace and Skull Woods get that done then take care of this I don't know let's go That's all I got. Thanks for everyone who showed up. I am doing these streams Monday through Friday at noon Pacific time. If you want to see the old streams that are not on Twitch anymore, 
they're on YouTube at scottbot 64 Stream Archives. There's a link in the about page. Let me go ahead and show the achievements we got for today. While I die. Potentially. Okay. So, we got the rupees from the Aghanim statue. Whatever. There it is. Uh, no, we got all that before. Uh, defeat the final, uh, Argus final phase with only the ice rod. Defeat Argus without being harmed. Uh, free the maiden from the swamp palace. Uh, we got 100 rupees from the digging minigame. We got the perfect score in the archery minigame. All the chests in Thieves Town. I think we did that. Bring the maiden in Thieves Town to both places where she will refu refuse to go further. Uh, let's see. What else did I get? Open all chests in Misery Mire. Get the rupees from Tur Turtle Rock. All treasure chests in Turtle Rock. Destroy Trinex's fire head with the ice rod. Ice head with fire rod. Then hammer it to death. In that order, I needed bottles. Defeat Trinex without being hurt. Free the maiden from Turtle Rock. And free Zelda in Turtle Rock before any other maiden. I believe that's all the achievements we got today. Anyway, have a good day.